finally we are ready to plant our rose. It's been rehydrated for at least two hours in a bucket of water. As you know, I stored mine in a raised bed for several weeks while I prepared somewhere to actually plant it. I'm gonna be planting mine in the ground, but obviously you can plant roses into pots. So you may need to make sure that the rose goes into a pot suitable for itself. The pot needs to be really quite large and something around 40 to 50 centimeters across and around 60 centimeters deep if you want to keep a rose in a pot. But I'm gonna be touring you through the process now of planting your new bare root rose out in the garden. You're gonna need a few things to hand. I've got the rose that's been reached, literally hydrated in water close to hand. I've got a good half a bucket of well-rotted garden compost. You could use well-rotted horse manure if you wanted to, but you need to make sure it's at least three years old or some leaf mulch is also very, very good. I've also got a fork. If the ground is particularly heavy going, I've got my border spade or my planting spade from Bergen and Bull, which I absolutely love for jobs like this. And I've also got a watering can of water. And what we want to do is we want to dig a nice large hole in the garden. We're looking for something around 40 centimeters across and around 40 centimeters deep. So it is quite a large hole that you need to produce for the rose. You need to make sure it's large enough to house your rose without actually crumpling up or folding over any of its roots. So dig yourself a nice, large, deep hole, 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. Put all the soil to one side. Break up the bottom of the hole so the rose has some nice loose soil to get hold of when it goes into the ground and it's not struggling to break through. Now you can see here with my soil that actually it's lovely and loamy on the top. It's had plenty of mulch on it over the last few years but as I go down deeper and deeper to obtain that 40 centimetre depth it does start getting a bit heavy and this is the subsoil you want to make sure that you're digging up and breaking through at the very very bottom of the hole and that's where we're going to be adding or organic compost just to give it some meat and some substance to work into. So there we go, I've got a nice deep planting hole around 40 centimetres across, around 40 centimetres deep. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add that organic matter. So I've got some good quality organic compost here. So I'm going to chuck a good amount of that into the bottom of the hole and I'm just going to turn that into the loose soil at the bottom, just like that. Right, at this stage, if you wanted to, you can add David Austin's Fungal Root Stimulator. Now, I've never bought this actually myself, although David Austin have sent this to me for free on several occasions. Now, in trials with myself, it does work really, really well. Open the sachet and basically just sprinkle a smaller amount of that into the hole, a couple of teaspoons, that's all you need. And that's a formula for increasing fungal growth and hopefully stimulating root growth. And once again, just turn that in lightly at the bottom of the hole and then you're finally ready to plant. Take your rose, this to say Gabriel Oak, make sure the hole is big enough that it doesn't actually squash any of the roots, pop the rose into the hole and make sure the crown, which is that grafted part of the rose, is above ground. You can then start backfilling all the way around the rose. Make sure it stays upright in the hole and that graft or that union, as I say, is above ground level, just above. In it goes, lovely. Firm it around nicely, and then make sure that you give it a good water. You only have a few days left now to make the most of my exclusive online discount code, which is North10. Available on all UK orders placed between the 13th and the 19th of, no of November. So get over to the David Offsing website now and bag yourself an early Christmas present.